Looks like the train's gonna stop. This train stops here so many times a day, blocking that street. And it appears for a while I'm gonna be trapped in this parking lot. This here is a parking lot for an old paper mill. You can see the siding here where the train used to pull up to the building, but that hasn't been connected in years. And they've even paved over it. Down here is Bridge Street. West Springfield. Sun looks really nice against the container train. So what they do here is they're probably switching the track and this train's gonna start reversing to pick up or drop off some of these cars. This usually takes them a while. And depending on the day, this could be blocked for five more minutes or another hour. I'll come back out when they start moving again. Only about one minute later, the train's already reversing. I'm gonna go ahead and move my car while this crossing is open because I know they're gonna block it again. They just keep moving back and forth, stopping. They do this almost every day. I'm gonna go and park. There's a church right next to the other crossing. Okay, let's move. That train moved fast. I'm now at the other crossing, waiting. It should be back shortly as soon as it's done coupling up with those cars. Okay everyone, it's been about 20 minutes and the train that went down to collect more cars is coming back. Here we go. The train is coming back. Based on what I've seen here in the past, this train is probably not leaving. It's probably going to stop again to get more cars. Look at this guy, went right through the gates. People know around here, at this time of day, it's going to be a really long wait.
Maybe not, it's picking up speed again. Well, here comes the end of the train. It looks like the action's over. So usually this train will back up and stop about 10 times. Maybe I missed that. I probably missed that. I showed up a little bit too late for all the stopping and backing up. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.